Good morning traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. The news this morning is uh, dominated by the uh, jump in crude oil prices. Brent crude is uh, trading above 116, uh, up more than $2 uh, since uh, yesterday. And again, there are uh, rumors about an imminent attack uh, from the Israeli side on Iranian uh, nuclear installation that are creating uh, the uncertainty, nervousness and high oil prices. Uh, I think that uh, uh, according to the reports which are now coming out, it is likely that the Israeli eventually are going to strike before the American elections in, the, uh, in November. Uh, the stock markets have been uh, more or less uh, uh, flat over the last uh, uh, 24 hours. In Asia this morning, uh, stocks are a little bit up. Uh, it was again bad results coming from China this morning with then uh, foreign investments for July going down 8.7%. Uh, uh, this had the markets to fall and then afterwards the Chinese Prime Minister came with a statement where he more uh, very, very strongly indicated that we are going to have a new economic stimulus from uh, China that helped the sentiment in the markets. Otherwise, from the United States, there were good results uh, uh, regarding uh, industrial output for July. That comes on the top of uh, the figures regarding employment and retail data. So there, are, there have been a string of good news coming from the American economy lately, meaning that the talk about then uh, measures from the Fed Federal Reserve are not as strong as they were for only a week ago when, uh, when investors were paying a lot of attention to what was going on in the second quarter with the uh, a slowing of economic growth uh, in the United States. Today the picture seems a little bit more optimistic. The uh, Japanese yen is continuing to fall against the uh, US dollar this morning. It's now trading on 79.25 and that means that the Japanese yen has been falling more than 1% against US dollar over this week. Euro US dollar uh, is also a little weaker, trading at 122.75, but still good within the corridor which I mentioned yesterday between the low on 120.42 and the high on 124.44 in the short term. Uh, in short term. So uh, I suspect that we are going to have a new interesting trading day. Might be with a lot, with a little pressure on the downside again of uh, the euro, and we should follow oil prices and of course also gold and commodity prices, which are more or less stable. Uh, some gold experts are awaiting a jump in uh, gold and silver prices. Uh, uh, for the next month to come and one of the gurus that are now recommending people to buy or investors to buy gold is George Soros which is uh, one of the investors that have been most successful over the years. I wish all of you a very good trading day from Cyprus.